Okay, so now we're going to recap the draft and kind of the offseason as a whole. Just got back into the game, and we already got to see our draft picks, and they were very, very good. We got a fantastic offensive lineman, Delonte Moore, two great guards. Um, Elite Carpenter and Devontae Spears could have some promise. We're going to dig into these ratings. I'm just taking a quick glance at some other teams before I go in depth on ours. So let me take a look now at the Buccaneers. We already saw the, well I saw the Saints, so then we had, I had to get back into the game because it was having some issues. So again, the Saints as we recap this. Um, a couple good players here early, not sure about these guys late. But uh, Avon Hale was kind of a smaller back, like a 5'7", 184 pounder with only like 88 speed. So we'll see how that turns out for them. And then Willis Fairley. And now the Bucks. They ended up taking Mitchell Middlebrooks, whom I did like. They had a 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. And it looks like Price Ingram is very good. Randy Elmore is very good. Middlebrooks, eh. Maybe look at a couple ratings for these guys. What is this center? 86 impact block. Only a 78 pass block, though. You want that defending star in short? And now let's go to the Falcons, as they took one of my favorite players in the whole class, who became a second-round prospect. I can't believe they got Tyrus Hawkins. So, okay. How good is he? 80 overall. And how fast is he? Good acceleration, great agility. What's his speed? Come on, 89. So I thought he'd be more like a mid-90s guy. So 89, you know, he's not going to be a burner. But he's got elusiveness. And he's got some other ability. So, that's why he fit more of the power run scheme at the end. Still very, very good player. Definitely. He is one of the ones that got away from us. Rest of their picks, an 82 overall pass rusher at number one overall. Pretty good middle linebacker. Looks like, oh, a nice strong safety here in the fifth. DeMarco Riddick, we'll take a look at his ratings. Although, I don't think it shows you zone coverage on here. Which is the one I need when we're talking about a safety. But he has good pursuit. Looks like decent speed. Good tackler. Okay, 83 zone here at the end. Yeah, he's really good. That guy is awesome. And one more guy I wanted to check up on. I wanted to see that backup quarterback whom the Packers took. Uh, I wanted Vlad Sutton. Vladimir Sutton, a 65 overall, looks like an okay athlete, might fumble a lot though. What about those throwing ratings? I think he was, he was B throw power, mid and short accuracy. Not good deep, has work to do here, mid and short. Throw on the run is good, or decent, and his throw power is okay. Would have been a nice third quarterback, but who's going to lose sleep over not having a third quarterback? Let's go back to our guys. And don't forget, by the way, I'll be signing undrafted free agents tonight. I might not have time here in this draft because i got to get going here pretty soon, or in this stream, I mean. So I'll be posting those on Twitter when I do get around to them. Let's take a look at our players. We have Delonte Moore. Looks like his awareness needs a boost. Surprise, surprise. 85 impact block. 89 pass block. You know I love that. 91 run block. He's even better against the run. And he's not even that slow. Then we look at Herman Gilmore and Jazario Dorsey. And we see two guys who are good run blockers. And also, very good pass blockers. This is excellent. 
Impact blocking, impressive. Those three guys are going to be very, very important to us. All right, let's go Malik Carpenter now, the corner. Looks like acceleration is where I like it. Awareness isn't terrible. Catching, decent for a corner. Hit power, it's okay. Jumping is good. He's got 80 man coverage. 85 press, 70 pursuit. 88 speed, so not extremely fast. 57 tackle. And 79 zone coverage. So he's, he looks like a pretty good player, but maybe not a guy who can match with speed. Devontae Spears, I didn't know much about him, but I knew it was a tremendous value and a potential future pick for us to be able to get a guy now who didn't was wouldn't have to play right away and we could still play other good players in the meantime. Um, acceleration and agility are good. His awareness is very good for a rookie. I would never got to scout his coverage. Block shedding, not great. Coverage is also very important. Hit power, 87. That's what I'm talking about. 90 jumping. But, not a good guy in man coverage. 84 pursuit. What about his zone coverage? He has 83 speed, so he moves well. 79 tackle. And 68 zone coverage. So the coverage has to get better, but there's an incredible talent here. Yeah, he might be more of a pass rusher. He could still be used in that way, too. Not stopping me from doing that. Now let's go down to Jermichael Ivory. This is the halfback I was really, really hyped up for. He's got good acceleration, decent agility. 69 carrying, not ideal. 69 catching, it's okay. Like, okay, jumping ability. Waiting to get to that speed rating. 91 speed, so decent speed from Ivory, who can also spin. And he has 76 trucking, so I think he's a pretty good talent. Especially here in the third round. Now Emilio Benjamin. I was very high on him and he's a 78 overall. I hope he has some speed to play on the outside. Now he's got acceleration and agility. Perfect. What else does he have? Not a good interceptor it looks like. Low 50's catching. Good jumper. 85 man. But that speed is still so important. 83 press. 72 pursuit. 88 speed. So we don't have that guy who can run all the way down the field. We don't have that. 86 zone. And wow, if he intercepts the football, 82 trucking. So, maybe we uh, stick to playing a lot more zone. He's definitely faster than Tillman was. So we'd lack speed in our secondary still. And yes, Jordan Okafor could have solved that. Uh, Branton Tucker, I forgot about him actually, a corner. Like the acceleration and agility. Catching, very good. Very, very good for a corner. Great jumping. What's his speed though? 81 man. 69 press, so not ideal. 92 speed. So I lied. There is a guy with some speed in this secondary. Might be a bit of a project. But he comes in with good man, good zone. Needs work, press, and tackle. He's pretty good. Martez Henry from Lambeth. The right end. Very good acceleration and agility. Awareness is bad. Block shedding is decent. Continuing on down. Power moves are average. Pursuit is good. 
The speed is where I like it. Strength a little bit low. Tackling decent. Wishes were sorted a little bit better. Well, the thing is, though, is that those readings are alphabetized. That's the thing. All right, Akeem Hickson. We did not get the guy we all wanted to know, but we did get a player from Minnesota. Very good acceleration, nice agility. Not a guy who's going to catch in traffic. We've been down that road. But he has good hands otherwise. Decent. Okay, jumping at 87. That's actually pretty good. Actually, a very good blocker. 72 pass block. How about run blocker? 65 route running, 53 run blocker. Why is he so good at pass blocking, though? And 94 speed. So we'll see what we can do with Akeem, Akeem Hickson. I don't want to say his name. Akeem or Akeem? I've never seen this name spelled this way. Returner, potentially, although we have Carlton Sanders. Maybe he's a punt returner, though. Maybe. And then Troy Knox from Florida State. What does he bring to the table? Acceleration's good. Agility's good. Carrying is bad. Catching is bad. Elusiveness is good. Looking for his trucking soon. Good pass blocker again. Not a good run blocker. Not going to ask him to do that. 87 speed. Doesn't have much of a stiff arm, or his strength is pretty low as well. So he'll have to fight his way onto the team. And so those are all our picks. I'm happy with this class. I'm very happy with this class. It wasn't a perfect class. But I think we did a good job filling some of our biggest needs. Roster adjustment. Yes, I want to change some positions, or at least one guy. Now we have all these corners here on the roster. Moving one to safety, however. Melvin White. Now I know a lot of you guys like to look at the overalls. So we'll see how changing him, and also the ratings themselves, do seem to change. Melvin White becomes a 72 overall safety compared to 71 corner. Um, zone coverage is still good. I gotta get that play rack up. That's what preseason's partially for. Speed's decent. Awareness could get better. So it's about what I expected with Melvin White. And oh, those are all our picks last year. I'm just trying to see. We only gained a four for next year. So again, eight picks next year. Here are all our backs. Wide receivers. Now, Ashley's overall is very low because of his awareness, but he has other abilities. Like in the way our tackle situation is looking. There's Charles Johnson. Eric Wolf and Titarius Beckwith, Tony Ely and Martez Henry, four defensive or four defensive tackles. Here's Devontae Spears. I'm not moving Cam to tight end. I think that's the only one I wanted to do for now. And what else could we do here? Does it have our schedule here yet for next year? Yeah, it does. Here's our preseason schedule. And here is the regular season schedule. We're opening up against the Saints and the Falcons. Then the Raiders and the Falcons again. We do play the 49ers. So your guys' favorite receiver could be playing against us if he's on the field. The 
Broncos and their rookie quarterback, the Chiefs and Jordan Okafor. We finish it up, Saints and Bucks end the season. We also got the Bears here, the Chargers, the Rams, the Cardinals. A lot of teams we haven't faced, at least last year or at all, in the franchise. Look at Miles and get the punter. Yeah, we don't have a punter. Oh, I can't look at free agents yet. I have to skip forward. So you guys wanted to see Dontrell Miles. And Miles ended up going to the Eagles. And I believe they were on our roster. Am I wrong? Maybe. Dontrell Miles has 78 overall. You can move. Awareness you can work with. Not good at catching. Very good in man coverage. Decent press, needs work though. Not the fastest guy, so. You know, I, I wanted that speed at corner. I got it from one guy I took, but otherwise, Miles is solid. That's why he fits the Tampa 2. Speed's a little bit lower. There was also. Who else can I look at here? I will be changing equipment at some point. I don't have to do it right now. I'm still going to sign undrafted free agents. And I'll have to change them as well. Kind of wanted to check out... I wanted to check out Ace Kane. He went to the Giants. 73 overall. With good acceleration and agility. Nah, that's a problem. And that's a problem too. But it looks like he has 90 speed. And a good spin move. Decent stiff arm. So he's a decent player. Dolphins took Mikhail McElroy. I'll check them out. He was the Heisman winner. And to me, he was a downhill run stopper. They got him here in the second, where he was projected to go. And the acceleration's okay. Awareness, not great. Block shedding is excellent. Hit power is excellent. And coverage, not great. Why is play rec zero? 91 pursuit. 80 speed. 84 tackle. What's his zone? 73. So actually, Mikhail McElroy is a pretty darn good player. Very good. Change Ashley to halfback. I don't want to do that. Ashley doesn't have the skills to be a running back, and plus he's proven to be a little bit injury prone. So I'm going to keep him at slot receiver where he belongs. So we're going to have some pretty good competition on the roster at offensive line, running back, secondary, and then competing for snaps in our D-line rotation. I think it's going to be a fun preseason. We got 11 new players on the team today. Rookies, anyway. I also signed a couple free agents. Devin Still. Um, who else did I get? Derek Wolf. So, yeah, we can still use a quarterback. I got to get my punter. And then a series of undrafted free agents will also make the team. But as of right now, I am very, very excited for the next year in the Carolina Panthers franchise.
Any big re-signings for you next year? Yes. If I can take a look now, I will. And here they are. Star Latulale, Charles Johnson, Mike Tolbert, um, K1 Short, Ryan Khalil. Can you see why I've been so conservative in free agency? We have $23 million in cap space right now, but that doesn't mean I should use it right now, especially on multi-year deals. We have our three best D linemen all expiring and our center. So I got to keep these guys while we're getting other people's players. That's the way it's looking going into Season 3 in the Carolina Panthers franchise. And I know a lot of you guys would still like to see more, but it is running pretty late. I'm three and a half hours into the stream, and I really got to get going. And so that is going to do it for the Carolina Panthers Season 2 offseason. Now, I will be making more moves when I get the time to get undrafted free agents. And I'll post all about those guys on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash MrHurricane. But uh, this was, a, in my mind, a very successful offseason. We came in with eight picks and some serious needs, and we aggressively went after offensive linemen, took care of our offense. That should help us tremendously. We also got some intriguing players on defense and a couple guys on offense who could be key contributors. So with that, guys, hope you enjoyed the Panthers offseason. If you missed anything, you can catch any of the other parts on my channel as a video, and I'll also be editing this entire thing down into the edited offseason, which is 15 to 20 minutes of me recapping the full offseason in condensed form. So that is it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought if you're watching this on YouTube in the comment section, and I will see you guys later. Have a great day. And you can also tweet at me, also, if you have any thoughts about the offseason, or if you just want to stick around to see undrafted signings or what else I may have up my sleeve. So, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Season 3 is going to be fun.